Hi YouTube, I want to do a quick video on a beam combiner for a K40 laser. I didn't see much content on that and I just wanted to share what I came up with. It's not perfect, uh, but it does work. Um, I saw a lot of people that were, you know, modifying the, the stock laser pointer. Um, and when my use for this laser is I need to be able to accurately place that laser for engraving small parts, uh, logos and such on small parts. And just with that focal length, and if that focal length wasn't absolutely perfect, and, and the, the clumsiness of adjusting that laser pointer, uh, I really wanted a, a beam combiner so that I had a very accurate location of where that beam was going to be going to be striking. Now, most beam combiners will be uh, combined at the first mirror. Um, back by the laser tube but as you know in the K40s there's not much room back there so what I did is I got the cloud ray uh, beam combiner kit and installed it in front here so the first mirror is back behind this and then we have obviously our second mirror here uh, and then our laser head and third mirror here uh, so we have our laser diode that comes through, through, through here through this uh, uh, this mirror which will reflect the visible laser light but allow the um, the UV laser to come through the CO2 laser to come through um, so that is adjusted to then strike this mirror and then down in through the focal lens and create our our laser pointer right at the point of where the laser is going to impact let me turn this on now I had it off because of the lights and you can kind of see how this works so there is the reflection of the laser diode onto the second mirror, and then that creates a nice sharp laser point down here. Now this is beautiful because I can move this around and the laser is gonna fire exactly at that point. The nice thing about this is that if your focal length is off, the laser is still gonna be positioned exactly over where it's gonna fire. So if I have this up, I had the focal length set, now I just unfocused it. But if I have this up here and I fire the laser, if we can see, I'm gonna go right over top of it here. You can see it strikes right on that beam. And if I drop this, generally, if you have one of the laser diodes that's coming off of the side, you're gonna get kind of a, a parallax or a, or a uh, cosine error that ends up um, making that laser beam off center of where the, uh, the laser is gonna actually fire. But you can see here, now I move that out of the way down, it's still firing right where that laser is pointed at. So uh, obviously it's a very wide beam when it's down that low. So this just makes setup for me a lot easier. Um, at the time of purchase, that cloud ray was about 50 bucks for, comes with the mount, comes with the laser diode, and comes with the, the mirror. Uh, so pretty reasonable. There is one downside to this. Now really all I had to do was um, mounted it through the top of the unit up here. Uh, the mounting base, these are designed to actually go down with the mounting base on the, on the bottom uh, facing up, but I just inverted it. Uh, all I had to do was rotate the laser diode holder and then obviously cut this little standoff here to the right size uh, to allow me to align it uh, vertically. Uh, other than that, uh, I don't have any other issues with the exception of I did lose a little bit of space on my bed. Now this isn't going to be a big issue for me because like I said, I engrave small logos on small parts. You can see it's almost like it was made for this. The clearance underneath here is just, just barely, that's a couple thou, maybe 15, 20 thou uh, worth of clearance. Um, but hey, if there's clearance, there's clearance, right? Uh, the only problems is actually with my air assist and the uh, carriage here is that when it goes into the Y limit switch, it will hit uh, the, the beam combiner back there. Um, I haven't really come up with a solution for that yet. I might switch uh, the limit switch to the other side and have it, have it Z home over there um, or X home over there. But uh, right now I generally just, just go ahead and, and home it in the Y and then I use uh, you know position like this and, and I use light burn and use my uh, coordinates, the current position and the coordinates. And a lot of people will say, don't move this around like that, but hey, this is the only way you can accurately line it up. Uh, so I hope that uh, solves some people's issues. Like I said, it works pretty good. 
Um, I love the nice fine point of that, uh, that beam combiner beam through the actual focal lens. Uh, allows you to get a really nice tight beam on there uh, so you can locate your, uh, your origin very accurately. So I'll put a link in the description of this Cloudray uh, beam combiner and I wish you luck.